Getting to be in line at Jackets for Jesus on Sunday nights has been one of the greatest privileges of my life for the last 30 years. And it's been, I'm thinking this is my 31st Thanksgiving Sunday in the streets with Jackets for Jesus. And I'm guessing Thomas here has probably shared, I don't know Thomas, you've been in our line for 15 years maybe? I've been, li I've been living here in California for over 22 years now. So you've been in our line for more than 20 years? Yeah. Wow, so Thomas has been in this line. What are you thankful for, Thomas? Staying alive. <laughs> Staying alive. Thomas has been in the hospital. He's been out here. I don't know what you're thankful for this week. But when I think about taking a life that goes from mediocrity to miraculous, I want you to know my friends who live out here in the city are some of the most miraculous people I know, man. Yes, sir. It's a miracle that you're still alive, I think. Oh, of course, of course. Every single day a miracle, huh? Yes. Yeah, what are you thankful for here in the city? Uh, thankful for you guys coming out here and helping us uh, for, what, 30 years or so, or 40 yeah, years? Yeah, that's crazy. Appreciate it. 30 years, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you, guys. You better keep on going things. here. I don't want to block the line. I'll get in trouble. Chinese food on 7th Street. You were thankful for Chinese food? On 7th Street. Oh, man. Over on 7th Street. What are you thankful for in the city, Jaime? I like to live in America. Everything beautiful people. Everything God beautiful America, in America. Beautiful people like you. We like to live in America. We like to live in America. <laughs> What are you thankful for in the city, man? I'm thankful for people like you guys that help uh, people like us. Uh, people like us. People like us are people like you. We're right. all just people, man. We're all just people. Right? We're all just people. Every one of us, huh? My brother, I've missed you. It's good to see you. What are you thankful for here in the city? What are you thankful for here in the city? For here in the city? Yeah, here in the city. What are you thankful for? For me. I like the You like this. What about Big Man Bakes? The cupcakes at Big Man Bakes. I'm thankful for Chip over at Big Man Bakes. You ever had a cupcake from Chip at Big Man Bakes? You need to stop by. How come you don't get one? Money. Money, stop in. Tell him Pastor Eric sent you. Okay, um, where's the Big Bean? Big Man Bakes. Straight down, straight down Main. And Pastor Eddie? <laughs> Eric, come on, I just told you, girl. What is this? First time in line, first timers, you know. We gotta throw them out. They cut in, come up here. We just need to toss them, huh? <laughs> Still calling me Eddie up there. Lord help us. Pretty rough when someone gets your name wrong, I'll tell you. So, what are you thankful for in the city, man? It's good. Here in the city, though, what are you thankful for? Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's great. The city's great. But is there something specific that you're thankful for about the city? Oh, oh, the weather, definitely the weather. The weather, huh? Yeah, the weather. The Where are you from? Oh, I'm from LA. You're from LA? Yeah, my mom's been. Oh, my family's been here since the '50s. The '50s? Wow. Yeah, that's a long. I was born in the yeah. '50s. Oh, really? So yeah, I've been yeah. here since the '50s too. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Yeah. <laughs> Time goes by so quickly. Anyway, one of the things that I think it's easy to overlook in the midst of our wealth, in the midst of the times that we're giving thanks, is that there are so many who are struggling to find something to be thankful for. And it's so easy to be critical of people for one single reason. And I meet people who are critical of folks all the time for that simple reason, it's because they're poor. And you know, for each of us, it's important to evaluate and say, you know, what am I thankful for in my city? Oh, look at this! How are you doing? You're walking right into the middle of my video. Look at this. I am thankful for this these friends you. right here. Look right at here. it. Man, look at your hair. I love it like that. Right. Did she do it? Yeah. Oh, would you do mine if I yeah. grow it back out? Yeah, Thank you. How you doing, girlfriend? You taking care of yourself? What are you, thank what are you thankful for in the city? What am I thankful for in the city? In the, the city. people that help us. Oh, look at this. She knows the right, right answer, right answer. This gal can take them down. I want you to know, I've seen her smack someone down before. <laughs> She's one tough cookie. Don't don't let that pretty smile and pretty face fool you. <laughs> I like the hair, it looks good on it. When I wore my hair long, I had that done before, yeah. I like the way it tightened your face, you know. <laughs> um, anyway, literally, I'm thankful for the many friends I have in the city. And I think about folks who stay in at night and don't come out, and all the people that they don't meet. And I think what people miss about folks who are living in homelessness. Do you guys, aren't you thankful for the community you have here in the city? Absolutely. Of getting to know each other? Yes. 
people are, I had a meeting with the mayor of Riverside the other day, and he, he's trying to fix homelessness from Riverside. And I, what I told him, I said, this is not a problem of people not having homes, it's the people not having community, man. And when people start living together, they enjoy the community of living together, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah, just, we belong. And so for me, I'm thankful for the opportunity to come down and get to be with you guys on Sunday night. I'm so thankful. Well, you're, I'm thankful dedicated, for you. you're dedicated to the cause. Going down, so you've been coming down here for years. I used to come down here. Today. Man, you've been coming down here for 25 years. I was going to say. I was, over 30 years. 30, Lord. Help. Man, we have known each other 30, 30. That's a long time, buddy. That means we were young together. Yeah. That means you had hair. Means you had long <laughs> I had long old hair. That's true. I did have long hair. You can always tell the guys who remember me in line from a long time because I did have long hair when we started. Look at this young woman. How old are you, girl? I'm 18. 18, yeah. That's the right answer. Right answer, right answer. You never say 16 or 17. <laughs> 18. So are you guys together? Where are you from? Where? Watts, really? How far from the Watts Tower? You ever seen the Watts Tower? Of course. Yeah? This course. is gospel truth. I was born and raised in Long Beach, and I've never seen Watts Tower. What? No. I think my wife and kids have been over there. And I've never taken time to think, go that over there. That is seven success. Let's go on. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to have to do it. Is it worth seeing? Is this one with you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jump on in there, man. If you just backing in the line, that's that old back in the line move. Oh, yeah, I'm moving that direction. Anyway, um, I got lots of friends. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. What are you thankful for in the city, man? Yeah. Uh, about what? In the city. Here in the city, what are in you thankful city? for? Uh, Mayor Garcetti? Thankful. Liberal minded people. Yeah. Yeah. Liberal, progressive, competitive, but it works. <laughs> Are you thankful for we the got community a, well, we of got, the homeless? We have here. about a billion dollar surplus this year. A billion dollar surplus. Yeah, something like that. Isn't that insane? <laughs> One of the few states that's, that's doing it, you know? But, but the rent is too high. I mean, we're Californians. Uh, that's home why. price we're is too high. You gotta do Way too high. Yeah, right you got to do something. Too many homes. We need to learn how to reconnect people. That's what we need to learn. Learn how to reconnect yeah, people. Gotta tweak uh, capitalism a little bit. It's got to be more, a little more morality and, and ethics and, and capitalism. Amen and amen. Create a lot of wealth, but no morality, no ethics. <laughs> No respect for Mother Earth. And that's why, that's why the Bible teaches that the love of money is the root of all evil. Uh, yeah, the root of every bit of evil. That love of money. And which one of us doesn't love a little money in our pocket? Bah humbug. Bah humbug. God, come on. Hey, Black Friday's coming up. I want money. Black Friday's coming up. What do you want on Black Friday? I want really nice Bluetooth headphones. Oh, really nice Bluetooth. I've got some nice. I got mine for 12 bucks on Amazon. What? 12 bucks. Normally oh, 19. Brandon. I got them on sale for 12 bucks. You, you need to follow me, man. You need to follow my channels. I'll tell you what, you follow my channels, you get these good deals. Oh, man. How you doing, man? Look at that. There we are, right next to each other. Pretty How's good looking lighted? dudes. Look at How's that. It huh? How's that lighted? How is that lighted? How is that lighted? I think it's just. Is that like a film camera? Like, not. Um, like it's, it's digital. Digital. A digital. Pretty trick, huh? You can slide that to the internet, right, Fred? Huh? I am. Slide it to a social network? Yeah. This, is, this is on my YouTube channel. It is, it is, uh, Eric is Denton. Let's go to Eric Denton. No. Who? Eric Denton. That's me. I'm Denton. Eric Denton. Like Denton, Texas. Uh, Eric. E R I C. Denton. You can follow me. You can follow me on YouTube. Is that a city account? Are you on YouTube now? They have a city in Texas called like Denton. Crane? Just north of Dallas. That's where the. Crane. You from Texas? Ah. I was going to say, from Texas, doesn't know where Denton is. Anyway, I would love to have you come out and join me on December 22nd, I think, is the night of the backpack party. We're going to be filling backpacks. I have got, I think, 400 of them in my office. Every single person in this line would love to have a new backpack. Every single person in this line would love to have a backpack filled with what you think you would want while you were on the street if you were homeless. This will be our 30th Christmas party on the streets. Wow, 30 Christmas parties on the streets. What would you like to have in your backpack? You just told me. 
Bluetooth headset. Bluetooth headset. You yep. hear that? A really cool Bluetooth headset. Yeah. Huh? I'm positive for six. I'm positive from what? Boop, boop. Boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a mouthful of peanut butter jelly right there in that moment. Um, what would you like in your backpack? You know I never come for those days. You don't come on backpack night? How many years have we been coming there and how many years do I refuse to go on that night? Which I, don't like I don't remember who's here. Which night is this? The 22nd. Sunday night, the 22nd. You don't want to miss that night. That's less than a month from now. The 23rd, yo. Sunday's the 22nd, right? The 23rd, yo. No, you're wrong. It's the 22nd. Get, get out of here. Get out. Don't do that. Um, anyway, God bless you. Have an absolutely fantastic evening. Be the miracle. Be the miracle. That's my that's my slogan for this. You see, there are people let, let who live lives of let mediocrity me, when they should be living lives of mer let miraculous. Me, let, lives. let me tell you guys one thing. This is the guy who was supposed to take over when Chick Hearn passed away. When Chick Hearn passed away. Chick Hearn, oh. if only I could have taken over for Chick Hearn, I'll tell you what. Man. Chick Hearn was the man. Chick Hearn was the man. Vinny was the man. Vinny and Chick Hearn, we grew up with the best. Yep, yep, yep. We grew up with the best. We grew up with the best. And in this corner, oh, Magnanimous. Man. Who? Magnanimous. Magnanimous. That means successful. It does. You're right. Magnanimous. magnanimous. Our word of the day, magnanimous. It means that flow. We've got our word of the day, magnanimous. Anyway, thank you for this kind of free-flowing evening with me. I hope you've had a great time. Go out, be the miracle. Come out, get ready to set up some backpacks together. What do you want in your backpack at Christmas? Socks, new shirt, some new underwear. Yeah, writing tablet. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. What about a gift card for Starbucks? Oh, yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? Gift card, those things are always good. In fact, if you do that, make both of us up a backpack for that, yeah. <laughs> yeah gain a little weight for the winter, yeah. No, I don't want to, I'm trying to avoid gaining any weight for winter, yeah. Anyway, however you're good, good your life is today, Remember, there is someone who is struggling to find something to be thankful for. Not these folks who are serving. They are serving with thanksgiving. Check these guys out. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you so much. What a blessing. Then we've got Lauren's into the line down here with the clothes. She's down here. we got the water and the hot tea. We've got the new jackets for Jesus. Wrap on the trailer. Looks pretty awesome, huh? Thank you, Ron and Patty, for that. Looks absolutely spectacular. Lauren, did everything go well back here? Yeah. Good. That's good. Glad it went well. Anyway, God bless you. Go be the miracle.